Hello, welcome back to Curl Gaming where we discuss everything video games, take a look at some gameplay footage and reviews. So still going through Evercade, uh, got a few more volumes left. Again, we're on to the Arcade series. This time, Volume 2, Data East Arcade Collection. So, of course the cover is going to look familiar. You're going to be like, well, didn't they already have Burger Time out? Yes, they did, but it was the NES version, so it wasn't Arcade, I guess. Uh, wasn't the arcade one at all. Uh, this one's got a nice collection of 10 games. Uh, with that being said, uh, we'll just do a, uh, we'll cover this after. But uh, with that being said, let's break into the Daddy East Arcade Volume 1 running on Evercade and we'll come back and discuss. Welcome, Agent. Get 
him! Great job!
won't like more dark work. It sounds beautiful. Not anymore, Crush is dark at home. Jade, where have you been? I've got to the area and hear rumors that Mama might still be nearby.
Ramon Índia. May the God guide you in your quest to save the country. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you like that look at Data East Arcade 1 running on the Evercade. I uh, just kind of did a quick run through, didn't go through all the games. Uh, this is a pretty solid collection. Uh, I didn't show Burger Time or Bad Dudes, but yes, they are different than what's been released. The Bad Dudes one was the NES version. Same with Burger Time. And uh, yes, we do have the arcade versions here now, and they are different, totally different. So if that's something that's in the back of your mind, well, I already have an Ar uh, Evercade cart that already has these titles. They're not. They're the same one, same name. Execution's totally different. You had different hardware at the time. So uh, what they did is just fine. But lots of guilty pleasures in here. Obviously, Sly Spy. That one got... I don't want to say it got trashed in the arcade uh, world, but uh, man, that's a guilty pleasure of mine. Just a James Bond ripoff. And obviously you can see they ripped off some of the posters and some other stuff in the game, but it's so cheesy and just fun to play through. And again, you probably saw when I went, did go through some of these games, the credits go up. So again, I love having that credit option where it's just like, okay, let's dump in some quarters. Let's see how far we can get. This is something uh, uh, anyone that does a compilation with arcade games should take to mind instead of being like, oh, we can only max you out at like five credits. We can only max you out at four credits. No, if you were in the arcade and you had quarters and you kept dumping it in because you want to get to the end, that's the way you should be. So, really pleased to see that feature. If a game has a continue, you can add a quarter or credit and just keep going. But, uh, yeah, one thing that threw me off for sure on this was the Wizard Fire and Gate of Doom. Of course, uh, you saw some of the same enemies in there. I didn't get too far into them. Wizard Fire, I do remember. Gate of Doom, I don't. But it want to say they're part of the same series because you saw some of the same assets reused, some of the same enemies. I'll probably have to go through the manual, just double check it out. Uh, Tumble Pop, kind of a Bubble Bobble, Snow Brothers clone. Uh, Darwin 4087, didn't take a look at that but as a shooter and I don't remember that one at all. Uh, Chain Reaction, I believe that was renamed uh, something else in Japan. Puzzled Upon, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
uh, Lock and Chase, that one was huge in the early 80s and that was also big I believe on the 2600 and uh, ColecoVision. So uh, again, a solid collection. Uh, Dead East has a ton of arcade gems I would like to see. So since again, it says Volume 1 on here, I'm, I'm hoping to see Volume 2 and more coming down the line. But uh, again, uh, thanks Evercade, you're off to a good start with the arcade series. Uh, keep it up and uh, we got a few more that we're going to have to go through and double check. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. Do you have uh, any of the Ar Evercade titles? What's your favorite one off the Data East Arcade collection? And uh, yeah, let me know what thoughts are and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.